What's going on everyone? Today we're back with another review and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Exact Rail Thrall 3564 gondola made by Exact Rail. This is in their Platinum line so we expect a lot of great things out of this. So we're going to go ahead and unbox them and take a look at it. Alright guys, so we got the model out of the box. We are going to be taking a look at the new image TTX logo. This is Exact Rail's, I believe it's their second release. So in this new release that just came out a few weeks ago, there was three new paint schemes, the old TTX, the new TTX, which we have here, and another scheme that I did not purchase, but I'm sure it looks equally as good. Uh, these were produced in real life about the mid nineties. So you'd expect an era of, you know, about 1995-ish to, you know, today, and they are still being produced with little to no changes. So, you know, very modern, very contemporary. This model does have the um, safety striping, so you know it would fall in that super modern era. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. We do have the separately applied grab irons over here on the right. We do have <clears throat> uh, the step off pad, little grab irons. Continuing down, we do have a little bit of detail. Looks like um, <clears throat> ratcheting strap points. Good grip detail. There is a little bit, I will say this, um, for the most part, most of the images and logos fit the ribs pretty well. There is just a little bit of a gapage right there. You can see where that maroon portion of the TTX logo doesn't quite fit around. And then on the rail gown portion where that doesn't quite wrap around. But overall, pretty good. You're not really gonna notice it from too far away. And then, like I said, it's right in the corners if you wanna touch it up. Come over here to the side and we do have the grab irons going all the way up to the top. We do have the step ladder. We do have the wheels. They do have blue rotating bearing caps. The bearing caps do not rotate themselves, but the caps are blue and they do have the car number and the road name on the actual truck. That's very nice, I like that. We'll go over here to the side. We do have a separately applied ladder, a few grab irons. We do have the KD number 58 scale couplers, good metal couplers. We have a wire cut, coupler cut lever, and we do have the MU cable plastic with the silver tips. Looks pretty good. Some more safety striping over here as well. Go ahead and continue down to the other side. And it's mostly the same detail. Looks pretty good. Um, you know, not much to say. It's a pretty um, standard car. There's not a whole lot to it. We'll go over to the other side that has the brake wheel. We do have the brake wheel, the brake chain going down. And we do have an etched metal brake stand. Looks pretty good. So for details on the inside, there's not a lot. There is, I will say, a little bit of bands, um, like support bands that would go over the trucks and that would go over the jack pads. And you can see those pads right here. And we'll go ahead and flip to the bottom. And we got really good brake detail. Oops, sorry. Um, so we got the brake cylinder. We got the brake reservoir, the triple valve levers, and we got piping all the way around. You know, and these trucks just look really good. Um, even though if they don't have the rotating bearing caps, they look really good. Uh, they do have the narrow, um, <clears throat> narrow style draft box. Um, you know, just a bunch of hand applied details. We got machined wheels. So overall pretty good, pretty looks, um, you know, nice looking car. So uh, <clears throat> we do have the scale here and we can check the, the wheel gauge real quick. So, um, looks pretty good. I checked a few of them. I'll go ahead and check the rest of them just cause that takes up a lot of time. And then we'll go ahead and just throw it on the scale real quick. I don't know the actual length of the car, so I can't give you an extra accurate to see if it's actually close to MRA, but throw it on 151 grams, 5.36 ounces. It is a really long car, so, um, you know, it feels pretty good in weight, but we'll have to check it out. So um, I'll go ahead and we'll get it on the track, get some test shots, see how it looks. And then I'll come back with the actual scores and what I think. And then we do have to 
give you the coupler heights because I don't know those off the top of my head and I don't um, I haven't looked at them yet and we'll go ahead and see if the weights actually what it's supposed to be so we'll go ahead and get these on the track all right so we're just gonna quickly go through the scoring overall the packaging pretty well no issues accuracy also no issues the models were missing a few features but I thought it'd be pretty difficult to add them at this scale and I didn't think it'd be really worth it so didn't take away any points for that paint overall really good really crisp there was a few issues with the paint not completely wrapping around the ribs especially on the larger logo so I took away a point for that the details overall very nice as well they are accurate and finely done large number of separately applied details overall very nice couplers trucks and wheels I gave a 14 out of 15 the metal wheels were all engaged, very nice scale, KD number 58s with the scale heads, which I really like. They were at the correct heights. And they, the car also had the most nicely done trucks I'd ever seen, but they didn't have roller bearing caps, and I feel at this price point they should. And that the roller bearing caps do a lot more than the nicely done trucks. Operationally, the coupler was at the correct height, wheels were engaged. I took the car around the layout and didn't have any issues, and I got quite a few varying radii, so no issues with that. But overall, the model's a little bit underweight, and it seems difficult to add weight without a load. And if you want to run these cars without loads, you might have some issues with just the weight and what the NMRA recommends. Value overall, I gave it an 9 and 10. Good, accurate printing and paint, great detail, but. Um, it just was missing a few details that are found at this price point. Miscellaneous, overall, very nicely decaled car. It's a great example of modern gondola and a great addition to a modern layout. In the end, I gave this a 96 out of 100, which would be an A on a report card. Over the last eight or so models I reviewed, this is tied for number one. And I just can't iterate enough how nicely detailed this car is. It's a great example of any modern gondola, and it's a good addition to any modern layout. If you guys are thinking about purchasing this, you can pick it up from MyTrainLife.com or ExactRail's own website. And I would hurry up if I were you just because it seems like they are selling out pretty quickly. And not all of the paint schemes are available and only certain road numbers and specific paint schemes are still available. So if you're still thinking about, about it or you're on the fence, I would definitely recommend it. Can't recommend this car enough. Overall, it's a great car. I just spent the last eight minutes talking about it. So... Um, just tell me what you guys think, comment, rate, subscribe, we'll end it with a few run-by shots, and that's all I got for you guys, so thanks for watching.